Hey, it's Julie with Purple Monkey Manor. I'm very excited to be back on the DIY A Go Go channel. I hope that after you see the video, you will go to my channel, Purple Monkey Manor, and subscribe there for more tutorials similar to this. Uh, this time, I'm gonna show you how to create depth on your art projects using stencils. Today, I'm making my signs out of scrap lumber. I painted the top of each board with white swan. I did my first set of trees on this board in vintage linen. You can see the difference in the whites. I'm using the Jamie Ray vintage stencil called Bottle Brush Christmas Trees. I used Little Black Dress and Gypsy Green. I gradually combined them with the vintage linen to increase the darkness of each layer of trees. A little bit of black goes a long ways. I had way too much paint on my brush, so I needed to offload it a bit on the plate. For my fifth and final row of trees, I went for a deep, dark green. to make the Christmas trees, which are closer to the viewer, taller and wider, I would stencil the tree, and then I would shift the stencil to the right and upward to increase the height and the width. Your stamps have to be laid out backwards, so it's smart to pick up your thin mount or your block and look at it from the other side. I also took the S out of the middle and put it on the end because it will help me to do the layout. And then I'll just pull it up and stamp it in the middle afterward. I'm using IOD ink in tomato. Uh, I put the ink onto a stamp pad and then flipped it over and put the pad on each of the letters. I removed the S from the end of the word to the middle of the word. And then I also started removing all of the letters that were stamping clean so that I wouldn't have anything keeping the C-H-R-I-S from touching and stamping like I wanted it to. I'm using a clear acrylic stamp block that I got off of Amazon. Um, I was unable to find this bigger one, but I put a link to a smaller one down in the description below. IOD also sells thin acrylic sheets with these lines, and honestly, I think they're more flexible than this contraption. I used the typesetting stamp to get the word Christmas. I used the new stamp Swoosh, which is a script, and um, I have to do the letters separately so that you can line them up to look like handwriting. I used DIY clear wax. I wish I had used a liquid top coat because the wax was picking up the ink and spreading it onto the white even 24 hours after I had stamped with it. I used more clear wax as an eraser to try to pick the pink color back up off of the white. Finally, I just nailed some picture hanging hardware into the back of the sign.
I want to say thank you to the DIY Agogo channel for hosting me today. I hope that when you are done, you will hop over to my YouTube channel and subscribe there. If you hit the notifications bell, you'll be hearing about all of our future videos.